we've done a really good job as a family looking further ahead, how we want it to, to look and be. Knowing that it's not gonna be what it is today, that's a big part of what the family's goals are right now. We always wanna be, in our, in our vision is to be the world's premier shooting sports company. And if we keep striving for that, we'll always be better than we were yesterday. I started here when I was 16. I come to work and I don't know anything about, I don't know where to park, I don't know anything. I'm just supposed to be here at this time. Park, I walk in. I'm used to coming in to see mom and dad, right? So I'm walk in and, hey, mom and dad. And my dad kind of said, no, you're not, this is not where you report. And he takes me to where I'm supposed to report. And that was a great life lesson. Absolutely great life lesson. There's a difference, I never saw it because there was mom, dad, and then where they worked. It was never mom, dad, boss. Far back as I can remember, I just always remember my dad being very dedicated and always working and striving to do everything he can for the business. I started working here when I was 17 um, and I worked actually in the office with my mom and my grandmother. My dad sat me down and said, I hope you understand, you're not gonna work for me. My first job here was building maintenance and custodial. And my first day on the job is here's your broom. We keep it a clean shop. I think it was important that I had the, the bosses he put in front of me uh, throughout my career, making sure that I understood that there's expectations being a nozzler. That was kind of my first day um, and realizing that I can't call mom and dad, mom and dad at work. That was a little eye opener. My dad had a pretty big plan of you're going to learn every aspect of this business. Other than accounting, I think I've worked in every department and in every job. I took great pride in the fact that I knew everything and every process. I worked in inspection packaging, I moved to the offices, I worked in accounting, purchasing, safety coordinator, um, I was our tour guide. You know, my fondest memories of, of starting to work. I was 16, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pushing a broom, but there's my grandfather. And he's coming in every day, he's handing out Snickers bars to the, to the folks, and he was still grandpa to me, like nothing changed there. My favorite memory of the whole thing though is, once a week, he'd take you to lunch. And that was the most special thing. Like, and he, it wasn't just, just to me. It was, it was people on the floor, you know, people that worked for him for you know, 20, 30 years. It was lunch with Big John, and that was a big deal. For me, when it comes to working and do the right thing, it has to do with do everything with the same amount of pride and integrity as if I were doing it for myself. If I was building a rifle, and when I'm inspecting a product, something like that, it needs to meet my standards as if I had just spent my own hard-earned money for that product and opened the box for the first time. You can't take the shortcuts. Do what it takes to make the quality product, um, which sometimes takes more time, but the end result's always better. Consistently and constantly trying to make the best quality products possible. When you are the end user and you use your product in the field, it helps you understand a lot more uh, about what you're doing at work. I know how the bullets perform in the field, um, and I know what affects them, and I can, at work, I can improve on those. They hire the right people. So they're bringing in people that enjoy the outdoors, they enjoy what they do, they want to come into work, they want to do the right thing. If you do that, you put a good product out, your staff is behind the product and supports it, and it shows in the product. You open a box and now a product on the shelf, you know you're going to get something special when it comes out. I guess this is a, a saying that I've been told for many, many years. It was a conduct every day and every minute of my job as if Bob Nozzer was standing over my shoulder. I took that to heart. 
We want to carry on the tradition and, and the brand that my grandfather built and recognizing what got us to the dance. And then watching my father from a business perspective, he was light years ahead of, of his peers as well. You know, Jill and I have a different and unique challenge. It's hard when you're looking so far down the road because what we want to do and what we want to be is something I don't think my, my grandfather could ever envision. We want to grow the company. We want to respect everything that they started and continue on with producing quality products, uh, making sure that our employees are taken care of. That is really important. That was always important to my grandfather. But we take a lot of pride, and I take a lot of pride in the fact that we have quality products, and it was based on quality. Our company started with quality. The people that own the company are involved in the company every single day. Not only do they understand how it works, which is really, really important, but then they can influence the decisions that we, we make. Um, they can be part of the collaborative process. We can understand where they're coming from as people that aren't shareholders or not owners. But, you know, more than anything, it's family, you know? In the 25 years that I've been here, I've always tried to adopt the philosophy to never take your position for granted. What you do today determines whether you have a job tomorrow or not. Because it is my passion, I feel like I really live the brand. And so this is our 75th anniversary, and I want to see us around in, you know, another 75 years. Knowing that the Nozzlers are supporting uh, the conservation efforts so we have animals to hunt, our kids have animals to hunt, and, and their kids, and so on, it's huge to us. The amount of failures that happen when a, when a founder hands it to the second generation. And it's a lot. And then you go from the second generation to the third generation. I mean, it's almost rare. Something my grandfather told me for years is, is if you don't have passion in what you do, don't do it. When you're running a company, it's just, there's so much more to the company than it just being about yourself. And they taught us that. That's a really tough one to answer, a favorite Nosler product. Nosler Acubons and the Nosler ABLRs, Acubon Long Range. <laughs> I have several. Um, I think the bullet that I grew up with was the partition. My favorite Nosler product has to be Acubons. Well, I like the partition, of course, <laughs> with my grandfather's Acubon is right there and a 28 Nosler. My favorite Nosler product I'd have to say is the partition. I do, I do have a favorite product, and it's Acubon. I've played a hand in designing and developing a lot of Nosler products, and I would have to say any of those are probably my favorites. I do have a favorite Nosler product. It has to be the Acubon. I love it. My personal favorite is 28 Nosler with an Acubon. Obviously, the partition was his.